So uh, I think the premise of value-based pricing is, is good. I understand it. I think it just falls short. So value-based pricing, I'm not a huge fan of it. And, and here's why. Uh, you know, the premise is that obviously if you're doing valuable work for a company that makes $10 million in revenue versus a company that makes a million, the value you're delivering, the results you're delivering should make them more money at 10 million than it does a million. So you should charge more. I think that makes sense theoretically. The problem is that I think a, a lot of agencies do it, but if they're not delivering the value, if in other words, they're not measuring the value or if they're measuring the value, are they coming back and giving a refund if it didn't deliver that value? I think that's mm -hmm. the disconnect with value-based pricing. On the front end, it's a great strategy because you can charge a lot more and, and it makes sense, but I don't think there's the results-based delivery on value-based pricing. So I'm more of a time and materials person, but in saying that, um, I think it's really important to understand, really know your numbers. So know your, and, and time is the huge piece of that, especially for agencies. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead. Yeah, you're, you're so right. I think a lot of agencies uh, want value-based pricing because they do struggle with feeling like they are contributing right and being perceived as a value add among clients. But in order to do value-based pricing, you have to have some very specific information from clients to inform your pricing. And for a lot of agencies, you just can't get that information and you have a really hard time getting that information in a sales process when you're already trying to just establish a relationship and build trust to close the deal. Um, Win Without Pitching, really great book, definitely a lot of golden nuggets in there, mm -hmm. but it misses out on some of the day-to-day -day practicality, I think, that you've lived through too.